Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to what is finally the new cards, Diamond Maze. I've been looking everywhere for these. Um, I've had no luck and I really wanted to do them in my Millionaire or Bust um, challenge, but I've already recorded videos for them. So the next couple of rounds, oh, giving sort of something away there, and I? Next couple of rounds will not have these, but I've got them. I brought £30 of them and I got them finally from a place called Stamford. I went to um, the Morrisons in Stamford in the uh, vain hope that they'd have them, and yeah, they did. So if you want to have a little look and uh, see the Morrisons I went to, nothing exciting, is it? Lovely blue skies, isn't it? So it's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful life, and oh, I got a beautiful life. I got a lovely lady in my life who I love dearly. I got beautiful kids who, um, well, make my world. I got a great job that takes me to fascinating, interesting places. Um, I got my channel that um, I get to entertain all you guys with. I hope I entertain all you guys with. So, uh, yeah, what more could you ask for in life? People I love, yeah, and things that I love. It's a good life. It's a good life. So, um, I got fake pound of these cards. And you know what? Even if they're all duds, it'll be a smile on my face. It's such a beautiful day. It's such a beautiful day. Hello. Now, I've already done this bit, haven't I? It's £30 of Diamond Maze versus £30 of normal £5 cards. I say normal, old £5 cards. Although every single one of these at one point had the special Diamond Maze treatment, didn't they? They were all new at one point. Let's have a look at the back of the Diamond Maze and then let's get into it. I really want to see how I do. £60 is a lot of money. Oh, why do I do this? <laughs> be nice to get a profit session on a big video. That really would be a turn for the books. So we'll have a look at the back of Diamond Maze and then we'll get cracking. Here we go, brand new card. All right, so there we go, there are the prizes. Um, five pound, all the way up to one million squid. One in 3.58, I've got six cards, so let's hope for a two wins minimum. Let's hope, you never know. What we gotta do, scratch off all your coding from your coordinates, reveal 21 your cord, to reveal 21 your coordinates, scratch only the squares on the main game. If you have completed, oh, it might be easy just to look at it. <laughs> what, we got? what have we got? Hey, do you know what? Money Kingdom, basically, isn't it? I don't care it's got a maze. It's Money Kingdom. Oh, you know what this means, don't you? Now, if you've been with my channel long enough, you'll know that spade has annoyed me and eluded me for too long. I get another chance at the spade. Right. Let's have a crack. Let's spin the camera, let's have a go. I'll do Diamond Maze first. Those of you who want to see the new card can watch it first off, and then I'll do the other six cards. And, you know, for a little bit of fun in the comments, what do you think will win? New cards or the old cards? My money's on the old cards, because new cards never have wins. Camelot seems to put out bucket loads of duds and saves the wins for, well, I don't know when they save the wins for. They must put the wins at some point. Anyway, spin the camera, Paul. Let's go scratching. Right, Diamond Maze it is. Oh, and it's the return of Sixy, I think. Yeah, Sixy, I'm Sixy, and I know it. Um, yeah, we've got a bonus game as well. Let's, let's do the bonus game first. Looking for fingers. What on earth is that? Boots. Boots, the optician. Right. Ah, oh, first one off, Sixy. <laughs> I'm Sixy, and I know it. Um, not a lot of people know this. When I first started my channel, ooh, looking for the scroll. When I first started my channel, I had um, like cloves, a clothesline, A3. And what on earth is that? Oh, that must be if you haven't got anything in H7. Yeah, there's always something to denote nothing. And it looks like train tracks. And I, I had clothes. I was selling clothes. A2 and B4. B4. And I only sold one t-shirt in all that time. And it was a I'm 60 and I know it. <laughs> H6. I <laughs> sold one t-shirt. E6. What a disaster that was. E4, H4. E4, H4. By the way, the prizes don't mean nothing. So if... I mean, as in the symbols. You can get the gold key, scratch it off, and it'd be a fiver. That that can happen. So just because you get a big symbol does not mean you get a big prize. D5, at least if it's the same as all the other similar games to this. F2, there's the spade. C7, 
Ah, wrong side. We've got no beetle in underpants. We've got a gem instead. E3 and E7. And we've got a helmet. So that used to be a treasure chest, didn't it? G1, D7. G1, D7. There's the helmet. There's always the chance that you'll scratch off the gem. F4, F5. And last two, B2 and F3. Ah, it's the inevitable dirt. It's always going to happen, wouldn't it? Right, here we go again. And here I go again on my own. Doom, doom, going down the lonely road I've never known. Like a drifter, I was born to scratch some dirt. Down, down, down. But I made up my mind. Gonna scratch myself a winner. H5. Um, yeah, we've got a winner. Yay! A2, B2. H3, please. F1. And A5. We got G1 and B5. G1, wasn't it? Yeah, G1. Oh my golly gosh, I got a win. F5. There's the hat. G7. G2, G6. The train track's pretty cool, actually. I don't know what it's got to do with a maze, though. B1. G3, D3 and F6, so D3, F6, we got the, um, what am I called, hat, oh hang on, yeah, I'm, I'm missing one aren't I, hang on, right, B3, D7, the one at the top. Oh god, it's so badly printed. D5. D5. So I miss one at the top here, aren't I? Well, that's badly printed. E5. No, I still didn't give me a win, but yeah. Now watch out for that. It's a bit pants, isn't it? Can I get fingers as well? Ooh. Ooh. I don't I haven't can't remember what the prizes were on the back. So we got gem, hat, and fingers. Five, ten, fifteen quid. So you can get fifteen quid. Fifteen pound win. So I've got thirty pound of these. Got half the money back from one card. Could be the only win of though. Just remember. Do you know what? I'm, no, I'm going to leave the card as it is. C three and E five. Let's hope for a back to back winner. C three E. D2, E2, D2, E2. When you scratch these, it does sound like you're naming robots from Star Wars. H7, A7. There's the spade. H2 and D3. D3, PO. Right, B4, D5. B4, D5, and C6. Isn't that weird? Why squeeze it in there? C C6. That, that's really weird. A2, A6. A2. Oh, A5. I've got a hat. <laughs> A5. Not C5 and G5. C5, G5, E3 and H6, E3, H6, H4, H5, ah, oh, it's teasing me with that blimmin' spade, 
d4, f7, d4, and f7. And for a win, oh no, that was a bonus game. Oh, look at that fancy little hat. All right. Two duds, one win. £15 scratched off. I got £15. Cheeky little sexy man. He's doing well, isn't he? B6 and H6. B6 and H6. E3 and H4. G1, E5. G1, E5. The, the story is, and it's not that interesting story, is I thought I'd won with the spade. I scratched it off. Oh, my God, I've got an amazing win. Turned out I hadn't got the spade. And ever since then, I've wanted to get the spade just because it annoyed me so much. I really thought I had the spade. B3, G3, which is why I go on about spade a lot. I can't remember how much it was. I thought I'd won, but it was like thousands. D2, F5. So for a very brief moment... I thought I'd had a spectacular win. But it turned out I was just being my usual div. H5. And I've never had a spade since. Loads of people sent in pictures when they've had the spade. C1, E4. <laughs> but uh, never for me. A4. H3. More, more. And this is what happens a lot. You'll, you'll be one away. Never quite get it. B1. E7. That's the same for the key as well. You'll be one away so many times. F2, F4. F2, F4. And then G4, B5. So B5. It looks like you've got it, but it's three squares for the um, scroll. You need that one there as well. Um, G4. For anyone comments saying you've got the scroll. Do, 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 do. What on earth is that? I thought it was a robot's head. It's a backpack. Oh, we're in deficit now. £20 scratched, £15 back. Just because I'm not cherry picked, you see. Got a cherry pick to get the wins. E6 and B3. Oh no, don't give me train tracks. G2, F6. G2, F6. Surely they should have made this like a train game <laughs> if they were going to use train tracks. B2. B6. H6, C7, H6, the Flying Scratchman, that could have been the name of the train, B4, E4, B4, E4, yeah, different trains that you revealed, yeah, you, you could have, a four, little bit of thought, little bit of thought, H2, G5, H2, G5, E3, and G7. Instead, they use some of the symbols, like the torch and the spade and the key and the scroll from the, all the other games, and then just randomly put in a gem and a hat. Why, why not just make all of the symbols new? <laughs> Or use all of the old symbols. G4. They jar. They don't go together. G4. G4. And F5. So I just need F3. B5. B5. And E5. E5. Come on, for a win. Unless I get the gem. A4. And a bit of the hat. And 
What's that? G3. G3. Fingers, maybe? No, it's a pocket watch. Oh, dear. Looks like we might just have half our money back. Come on. Last card win for the new ones. G4. And H6. There's the train tracks. D3. G6. So D3. G6. Come on. Light up my light. Light up my light. <laughs> light up my life with that torch. A3, B6, B2, and C5. That's the key. A7, Ooh. and F1. A4. My favourite kind of paper. C1 and D4. Come on, gem. Yeah, more train tracks. C3, B7, E3, and C6. C4, explosive stuff. And H four. Oh, we've really got two more. A five and G seven. Unless we get fingers, that's a bit of a damp squid. Bottle. That was a bit pants. Six cards, one win. All right, that's fifteen quid, but still, it's the usual, isn't it? New cards. <laughs> right. Let's try the old cards. Let's see if they've got any more life in them. A bit more fears, a bit more pizzazz. Come on, all win. We need wins. If we get wins, then we're intrigued. We're interested. We're more inclined to buy cards. If you keep giving us duds and small wins and we just get half our money back, um, yeah, we, we lose interest. We peter out. We fade away. Right, let's try the old ones. And here they are. We're going to start with Prize Portal. I'm going to use my little swimmer. He was lucky with Camelot cards. Talking of Camelot, didn't Orwin say that it was going to be new, improved, and exciting when they took over? I don't know about you, but I haven't really noticed any change. And yes, you could say it's early days, but haven't they been in charge for quite a few months? And I'm sure they had a period where they were preparing for when they took over. New and improved. Hmm. I thought I had another 34, but that's just a 4, wasn't it? Right, we really need some wins. We're not doing well. So, no symbol win. Can we find a 31 somewhere on this card? No, that's the short answer. Oh, dear. £60 in play. We really need something. Right, Mega Mora Player. Have you got a 22, a 53, or a 36 somewhere on this card? 17, 49, 48, 34, 7, 51, 37, 54, 24, 39, 3, 23, 16, 4, 27. Looking for 42. Chance would be a fine thing. Nope. What about times 10? Number 9. Nope. Dirty knees? I oh, know I ain't got that. I'll still look, but I know I ain't got it. And times 2, 45. Oh dear, the light is fading. <laughs> Run away out. Alright, right, let's go with snacks tanks. Then I don't have to zoom in and out. Here we go, snack, snack. We want fries. 11 and 16. That looks like pizza and I don't know what that is. Skewer for a million pound. Five and eight. Fries for a fiver. 12 and 34. Fries. One and seven. 
one away. 20 and 31. 20 and 31. 9.35. Come on. Two lots of fries for a tenner. 27, 29. 27, 29. 18.33. 18 Come on. Ten pound please. Six and thirty-six. Two and fourteen. Oh no, don't tease me. Oh, don't break my little heart. Nineteen. Twenty-one. Oh. It's the worst thing about this card. You think to yourself. Hooray! And then it goes, no hooray. Boo. Could be worse. I could have got a paper cut off the card and then bled to death. <laughs> there you go. Five years for you. Still trusting you, swimmer. Necklace and sunshine. Way sunshine. Necklace. Ah, oh, who fought it? I fought it. <laughs> I fought full card. Bank. But I might still get more though. Camera. Sandals. And a wallet. Oh, I thought it for a second. Can we get a bit more? A couple of matches, please. Yes! Two diamonds. Safe in a suitcase. Bag and a snorkel. Lounger and a shell. Lotion and a watch. Towel and house. Probably 15 quid, but I'll take that. Five. Ten. And... Fifteen! Ooh, that means a level pegging now. Two cards left to scratch. Get any win, and the old cards. I want it. Come on, old cards. Double pound symbol. I've never had you. If you're going to make an appearance, now's the time. Right. Three and eight. Two and 17. 11, 22. We got a match. We got a win, and we got a winner. Old cards, yay! 37, 35, 21, 32. Fourteen, twenty-two, six and eighteen, nine and twenty-six, nineteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-one, forty-two. Facing. Sorry, every fibre of my being is going. Will it be five hundred? Will it be five hundred? <laughs> Calm down, Paul. You've been doing this long enough. Not to get your hopes up. 1 and 42, 24, 14, 25, 11, 38, 34, 26, 29. Still open for that double pound symbol. 7 and 28, 16, 27, 27, 37, 39, 2, 12 and 12. So at least a tenner. What was the first one? Two fours. Fiver and fiver, ten pound. Thank you kindly. Which leads us on to Black Pearl, and it's apt that Black Pearl is at the end because, well, it's a given. Black Pearl was going to give me a massive win because it always gives that win, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm joking. Black Pearl, come on, give me it, give me it. Number six, 13, 2, 12, 7. Don't do it, Black Pearl, what you normally do. Make, give us a win. That's nine. That's 12. Oh, it's so often a dud, Black Pearl. 13, beaten by 16. 15, beaten by 18. All right, last chance. Can I match with a car? Got a starfish. A helicopter. A watch. A torch. Seaweed. Snorkel corn. Oh, thank you. It did as well. For a fiver. Hey, <laughs> I don't care. It's a win. And we have a winner. So, um, God, that's come up quite high, didn't it? There we go. So we got, make sure I don't focus on my fingers. We got a fiver. We got 10. So that's 15 quid. And then, weirdly, five years for you came through, and we got 15 quid, two fives and a five there. So that's £30. I got all my money back on the old cards. And the new one, Diamond Maze, gave me 10 
because I matched the hat and the um, gem, and I got five at the top there, so that's 15 quid. So these are the winner. Um, but you're the winner, really, aren't you? You got to watch 60 pound of cards scratched off and uh, got to see some wins. Shame that we didn't get one more win on Diamond Maze, but you know what, I can live with that. I can live with that. So 60 pound in total, 45 pound back, 15 pound down. And um, what I'd like is at least 15 new subscribers. <laughs> one, one new subscriber for every pound I just lost. So if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, why don't you be one of the um, 15 people to, um, to be a new subscriber? And I would really appreciate that. I truly, truly would. You're not numbers to me, by the way. When I see a new sub, and Rachel will, will, will tell you this, I do get excited. I go like, oh, I've got another subscriber. And um, it does mean a lot to me. So, yeah, you've got the power in you to make a grown man go, oh. So, uh, yeah, £15. 15 subs. That'd be lovely. All right, anyway, I'm going to skedaddle and uh, record another video. I've got I've got some £3 cards. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some £3 cards and um, see how see how they fare right look after yourself those you love and i'll see you again soon bye what a beautiful world we live in